But, I mean, are we just covering for French and German weakness here? I'm getting increasingly annoyed by the lack of action from our European so-called friends. Uh, again, as we're learning, don't forget, we, you know, we were discussing whether to send offensive, defensive weapons. We're moving on from that. You know, people like myself, I think yourself as well, have been nudging governments across Europe to do more. It needs more coordination. There isn't an international leader right now. There's no Churchillian figure that's actually drawing all together um, uh, the countries from across Europe. It's the leader of the Western world. Uh, is you know, not nowhere to be seen, really, on this front. I'm pleased to see that the Americans are now putting more money in. There's no doubt about that. But there's a vacuum for leadership, and I hope Britain uh, will take that. I would make the point, though, if I may, that this tempo of activity uh, is not sustainable. This conflict is now going on, you know, moving up to over two months. It's taking a toll on our armed forces increased operational commitments. It's depleting our own weapons st systems as well. My colleagues, you know, I plead to my parliament parliamentary friends, please recognise we will need to increase defence spending if we are to actually tackle the challenging security threats that are going to dominate this next decade.